This is from Restored Republic via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. Uh, Judy noted, according to Fleming's military intel contact on Monday evening, May 18th, Tier 4B, us in the internet group was still a go to receive 800 numbers to schedule redemption appointments. Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, the 19th through the 21st of May. On Saturday, May 16th, liquidity for the new gold asset-backed U.S. note had been released under a Trump executive order. Uh, way last March uh, 27th, 2020, the IRS folded into the new U.S. Treasury in Reno, effectively closing down the cabals, funneling of U.S. taxpayer dollars to themselves. Now, without those funds to function on, the perfect storm for cabal arrest was ready to arise in the two weeks from May 22nd, Friday to Friday, the 5th of June. In preparation for that perfect storm, President Trump, Judy Shelton, the U.S. Treasury and Department of Defense were obligated to start Tier 4B this week in order to give enough time for currency exchanges and Zim redemption to finish before the IMF mandate to start public foreign currency exchanges at the new international rates on Monday, June 1st, right in the middle of that perfect storm. Word was that thousands of military troops were still involved in rescuing malnourished and abused children, babies, corpses from the underground tunnels worldwide, effectively blowing up and destroying the cabal's adrenochrome underground manufacturing facilities. Watch out for our so-called earthquakes in unlikely places. Okay, as of Monday, May 18th, 2020, according to Fleming's military intel contact, it was still a go for this week. The new currency rates were locked in for Tier 4B, Value Day Declaration. Schedule still aligned with Judy Shelton's timing to obtain 800 number notification to start setting appointments at the tail end of the asset redemption payout sequence, whether it be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the 19th through the 21st of May. The military intel flatly said, stated that Ron Giles was wrong in publishing that you could get the higher Zim rates in your first appointment. You would have two appointments at the second appointment onward, an assigned wealth manager and trust company would be happy to negotiate the higher rates for you with U.S. Treasury. Judy noted, it was my understanding that with the implementation of the global currency reset last weekend, the old cabal-controlled SWIFT global financial system was replaced by the new transparent quantum financial blockchain system. And as of Saturday, May 16th, the fiat dollar was now the new gold asset-backed U.S. note. On Saturday, May 16th, liquidity for the U.S. note was released under a Trump executive order authorizing release of funds for payouts of historic bonds, paymasters, SKRs, intermediate accounts, and all tiers. This last weekend, head of the release, Judy Shelton, and the U.S. Treasury had to get agitated payouts going ahead of Tier 4B and finish the conversion of U.S. pegging global currencies to the U.S. note for an international trading start on Sunday, the 17th of May. There had been a world global meeting where agreement was reached to release liquidity from the 17th of May on this week. Rates were locked in on the 17th of May at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time. There were high-level payouts and liquidity releases to start implementing the sequence phases. Way last March on 27th to 2020, the IRS folded into the new U.S. Treasury in Reno, effectively closing down the cabal's funneling of U.S. taxpayer dollars to themselves. Okay, in preparation for the perfect storm, uh, President Trump, Judy Shelton, the U.S. Treasury, and Department of Defense were obligated to start Tier 4B this week in order to give enough time for currency exchanges and Zim redemption to finish before the IMF mandate to start public foreign currency exchanges at the new international rates on Monday, June 1st, right in the middle of that perfect storm. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.